Hey guys, what's up? It's Jarek Huber, and in this video, we have another unboxing from Puzzle Crate. This is the December box, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. All right, so in here we have a Z Christmas tree, three by two by one, and Tony's five by five ball. So let's go ahead and check out these puzzles. All right, so let's go ahead and start with this one. So it says, this is a fun little puzzle that also doubles as a Christmas tree ornament. It turns very well and is very easy to solve without having to know any algorithms. It comes in a green and black plastic variety. Merry Christmas, fellow cubers. All right, so let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, I've actually, I was thinking about getting one of these to do a little Christmas video, but um, I kind of ran out of time, but now we have the puzzle here anyway. Uh, so this is the green variant, uh, which is quite fitting, um, considering that's kind of the color of my channel and everything. Um, you know, green and black at least. Uh, but yeah, this is just a fun little uh, one by two by three mod. Um, it's cool that, you know, this puzzle is actually mass produced. Now you can actually get a one by two by three mass produced. Cause I remember when I started cubing, uh, you either had to make one yourself, which was very, very difficult or figure out a way to 3D print one, which was not cheap, um, you know, back in those days. So yeah, it's cool that we have one by two by three mods uh, coming out now, which is cool. There's uh, some made by Rubix um, and then here's just another one. Uh, so yeah, if you want, you can attach this onto here. Uh, so basically this would just turn it into an ornament and uh, I think I might actually do that and put it up on uh, my Christmas tree next year. Um, the color scheme is also quite weird, it, you know, because there's really actually only five colors because there's no top color here. You have kind of like a blue opposite white, red and green opposite each other, which I guess makes sense for a, um, a holiday themed cube. Uh, it doesn't really matter with the color scheme on this cube anyway. Uh, the turning is also very good. Uh, it feels very smooth and it's easy to move. It's not stiff. Um, and it feels stable. So that's, you know, all you can really ask for in a puzzle like this. Um, so let's go ahead and scramble this up. Um, yeah, there's not really too many ways you can scramble a one by two by three, but uh, this one's cool because it does shape shift. So uh, you get some cool looking shapes, as you can see. Um, yeah, this is a cool little puzzle. So let's see if we can try and solve this. Oh, there we go. Easy enough. Um, yeah, very, very uh, simple puzzle to solve. But just a fun little thing to mess around with and a good thing to kind of get uh, get you in the Christmas spirit, you know, with a nice little puzzle like that. Of course, we're already in the new year now. That's when this video is going up. But uh, so a little bit late on that on that front, but uh, still a nice still a nice puzzle. All right. So next up, we have Tony's five by five ball. So it says Tony Fisher and Calvin's puzzle have teamed up once again with the help of Evgeny to bring us another fantastic puzzle. This time it comes in the form of a five by five puzzle that has been modified into a ball shape. The original design for this puzzle comes from Tony's original handmade modifications back in 2008, which is 10 years ago. It's unbelievable. The turning sounds scratchy, but is actually very smooth. The solve is the same as a normal 5x5, so cubers of all skill levels can enjoy this one. All right, so let's go ahead and check it out. So this puzzle came out uh, as a part of a group of four puzzles that came out all at the same time from Calvin's puzzle, uh, this one being one of them. Two of the other three were based on modifications that Tony had made before, and then one of them was uh, just another puzzle you can make with the parts of those modifications. So the original 5x5 ball that uh, Tony Fisher made was actually made from an Isheen 4x5 for. And basically what he did is when you, when you uh, cut that into a ball, you reveal all of the internal pieces, which basically is just the five by five. And so if you remove the inner block that, uh, m you know, keeps the five by five inner layers from moving properly, you just get a, like a really small little five by five ball with disproportionate layers. Uh, and that's basically what it was. But he basically did that to create the ball in a cube puzzle, which was basically a step beyond the overlapping cube mod that he had made earlier from an Isheen 4x4. So both of those puzzles are also, have been mass produced now along with this puzzle. And then a version of the puzzle that has uh, square centers and then ball uh, edges and corners, which looks kind of weird. I don't really like how it looks. It's just a puzzle that you can make basically with the part left over from making the ball in a cube puzzle. So it makes sense. Anyway, though, this is the five by five ball, uh, which is pretty much going to be the easiest to solve of the bunch as far as I'm aware, just because it is a simple five by five and uh, there's no hidden parts. There's no bandaging, nothing like that. Um, so getting on to movement, um, it's a little bit stiff. The second layer is definitely moved quite well. Uh, these outer layers are definitely quite a bit uh, stiffer. Um, 
Let's just go ahead and, and do a checkerboard just to get all the layers moving here. So this puzzle, of course, actually does have proportional pieces, so it is closer to what uh, an, an actual 5.5 ball would be like if you were to make it from a real 5.5, not from a 4x4 like what it was done with originally. Uh, but yeah, here is the puzzle. It looks really good in stickerless. It makes way more sense to mass produce a puzzle like this in stickerless uh, because making stickers uh, and applying them on a ball surface is definitely not easy, uh, especially when you're mass producing it and it needs to be done quickly. It's just not feasible. It's definitely possible to do if you're doing it by hand, you know, and you have plenty of time to do it. But uh, yeah, it would not it would not be possible, especially these corner stickers, which is basically three stickers in one uh, that would have to be like all printed together and stuck on there. It would just be complicated. Um, so it makes more sense to just make it stickerless. Although I do prefer the look uh, of the black and white ball. Uh, I really don't mind this either. So even though this uh, the solve of this puzzle is not going to be a challenge at all, I figure I'll go ahead and go through a scramble and solve, um, you know, just, just for the sake of it. So the only challenging part is going to be alignment, uh, because all the pieces look very similar. They're all kind of squared off and, and cube shaped, uh, even though they're not really. Um, it... It makes it hard to align. I think on the original puzzle, it would have been easier to do alignment because, uh, you know, the outer pieces were a lot thinner and skinnier than the inner pieces. Um, so, and then obviously the edges have two colors on them. Uh, but it's, it's harder to tell what which pieces, uh, you know, where the piece ends and the next one begins when it's just all ball like this. All right, so that's a pretty decent scramble. Um, yeah, the puzzle looks really nice and bright and colorful when it's all scrambled like this. Um, yeah, it looks really good. I think they did a good job with this puzzle. Uh, and I'm happy with it. I think it's cool to see just a straight up end by end ball puzzle like this uh, with no crazy modifications or, or bandaging or anything, just a simple puzzle. I like those uh, every once in a while, they're nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through a solve. I'm not gonna do the whole thing in real time because that would just be boring because it, it literally is just a five by five. I know none of you are gonna actually sit through that and watch it, so I'll just speed it up and uh, show you guys my progress along the way. All right, all the centers are done. Uh, recognition's definitely getting a lot easier now uh, since I can just tell when uh, the centers are not aligned properly, but now we'll go ahead and get on to edge pairing. This will go a lot faster probably, uh, and then we'll be about done. All right, now we're just down to last edge parity. Uh, hopefully I don't mess this up uh, just because the cube doesn't turn super well and I might, sometimes I get lost in the middle of the algorithm. Um, we'll try. See how it goes. All right, parody is done. Now we're just down to a three by three solve. So uh, let's go ahead and go through it. All right, so what PLL do we have here? Ah, Zperm, okay. Um, hmm. All right, let's try it. You know what? Uh, we'll go for it. Just do the PLL. All there we go. All right. The puzzle is done. Not too bad. Uh, the turning is really not that great on this puzzle. It could definitely like, it probably would get better with some lubrication, but it was just very catchy and a little bit slow. Um, so getting through the solve was was not, you know, super, super easy or anything. Other than that, it was all fine. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, this Puzzle Crate unboxing. Uh, two really cool puzzles. Anyways, guys, that's about it for this month's Puzzle Crate unboxing. This is the last one for the year of 2018, even though this is going up in 2019. So uh, thanks for another great year of uh, Puzzle Crate videos and just videos in general. Got a lot of stuff done in 2018 and I'm overall really happy with how the year went. So I uh, can't wait to see what happens this year. Thank you all so much for all of your support. I really, really couldn't be making these videos without your guys' support, so uh, it means the world to me. I know I don't say it as probably as much as I should, but it really does mean a lot, so thank you guys. Anyways, that's about it for this unboxing. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, turn notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Stop rolling away. Ugh. <sighs>